Okay, Jamari says he needs to know who the other man is before he can move on. Ooh. Jamari, what's going on? I ended up getting locked up in October. Oh. And um, as I was getting locked up, my girl, she used to come to my visits every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, at, at jail? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, nice. she used to yeah. always keep money on the phone for me so I can keep in contact with her. Yeah. Right? And, you know, as the time went by, she just stopped coming to visits oh. and she just stopped putting money on the phone. Oh. And so, you know, being in jail, you know, your mind starts to play tricks on you. Yeah. So, I wouldn't know, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just, you know, I'm in jail. I'm just thinking everything yeah. like the worst, you know, like who she's sleeping with oh, or, yeah. you know, who's at home. How long had you been going with your girlfriend? Uh, we've been dating for five years. Oh, so this is a long-term relationship. Yes. Yeah. And you have children? Yes. Oh. I have a son. He's seven months old now. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... There is a cute kid. Yeah, yeah that's nice. my life right yeah. there. Yeah. I called her one day, like when she missed the first visit, I called her and I asked her um, what happened, you know? Yeah. And she, she just told me, you know, uh, she couldn't find a babysitter. Oh, and I see. She was just working 12-hour shifts and everything, so I asked her what happened to her missing the visit Thursday. Yeah. And she just told me, you know, the car broke down and everything. Oh. And when she well, said that, I just snapped. You know, I'm just like, you got an excuse for everything. Uh, yeah. I'm just tired of it. And, you know, so that following weekend, I actually ended up getting out. So you got out of jail. That's good. I yeah. got out, and um, I did 30 days in jail. Yeah. You know, I went back, you know, my mom dropped me and my son off at home. Yeah. You know, she, you know, I guess, act sure. like she was happy to see me and everything. Sure. And, uh, you know, so it's 6 o'clock in the morning. And she said she was going back to bed, and I told her to take my son. So they both went to bed. You know, yeah. I just got out of jail, so, you know, I'm ready to take a shower. You know, those yeah. jail showers is oh, you don't something know. serious. Plus, yeah, you, and <laughs> you certainly don't want to drop the soap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, you know, I went in, you know, started the water so it can get hot, and I uh, had to go get me a towel out the laundry room. So I'm looking for a towel, and as I'm looking around, I end up seeing a pair of boxes on the floor. Ooh. And, you know, I'm sitting there looking like the you boxes. boxes boxer shorts. Yeah, yeah the yeah, boxer yeah. shorts. Like, not they're not boxer, mine, yeah. you know. Oh. They, these are, like, medium small. I don't wear you're, medium small. No, uh, you're a big guy. You know, they're going to yeah. break off me. Yeah, you're, <laughs> like, you're like Trump. <laughs> And, um, you know, so I'm getting mad and everything. And I asked her, I was like, you know, whose are they? You know, yeah. she just, she wouldn't tell me. She's like, I can't tell you yeah. and everything. So I'm like, you know, whose are they? And I just, she wouldn't tell me. And I just got so mad that I just ended up punching a hole through our door. Oh. And, you know, so I walk off and I'm just, you know, I found the box. So I'm just walking around. So you figure and, she's been cheating on you while you've been in prison. Yeah. Because they, they belong to another guy. Yeah. So I'm what walking. What she say? Uh, she, she, she wouldn't tell me nothing. She oh. wouldn't say anything. Yeah. I kept asking her. She just, you know, kept denying. No, yeah. I don't know yeah. who they are and stuff like that. So I walk around the house, you know, just doing a little bit more investigating. Yeah. And I walk into my son's room and there's a pair of Jordans in there. And I'm like, I know these ain't mine. Yeah. You know, so now I'm really hot. Yeah. And, you know, I go back and I ask her again. She's constantly just denying it and she don't want to tell me. So I just actually just ended up leaving and going to stay yeah. with my mom for about a month. Oh, I see. And, you know, we, I, I communicate with her just so I can, you know, get my son. So yeah. I'll go get my son or she'll drop him off to me. And she, yeah, she hasn't said she's sorry and no explanation, nothing? She tried to say she was sorry, you know, but, like, I just wasn't going for it. Yeah. I want to know who was at my house. You want to know who. She's not denying that she was with someone. Cause yeah, she just won't tell me who. Who, I And see. I just want to know who it is yeah. that's around my son because yeah. I don't want to know the man trying to raise my son. No, of course not. Okay. You know. Yeah. But you do love her still? Yes, I love her to death, You, you want to be back with yes, her? Yes, I do. Okay, you're not living with her right now? Actually, we do have an apartment together. Oh, now you're back with her, but yes. she still hasn't told you? No, she still hasn't told me, and, and it eats me alive every day because yeah. I'm trying to figure out who it is, and she just won't tell me. Yeah. I guess it's... Uh, let's meet our next guest. Fine, it could be him. Hey. Wow. So those were your underwear and your shoes in my crib? That's my underwear and my shoes. Like... <laughs> Like, man, look, I just asked you to go in and, you know what I'm saying, check on her. You know what I'm saying? I'm in jail worried about, you know what I'm saying, if my kid is safe and if she's okay. That's all I asked you to do, bro. I didn't ask you to go and try to go talk to my girl. I didn't ask you to go and try to take my family away from me. 
If you wanted me to check on her, I went over there. I had to console her. I had to do a lot. Me, I'm the type. I'm going to go over there because you're my best friend. But at the same time, something happened, man. <laughs> So he is your best friend. Why would you why would you sleep with the mother of his child? Man, I had to the, Give me one second. Yeah. <laughs> oh, would you would you like some water? Sure. Yeah, let's give him some water and uh would, would, would you like something to eat? So, uh, do you want to be with her? Yeah, I like her. Oh, you really want to... How you gonna try to come take my family, dog? You want me to console you? You supposed to be my brother. You should've got knocked up. You supposed to be my brother. What are you doing? How you gonna do that? What are you doing? You supposed to take... Hey, all I did was ask you to just check on him. That's, what my, that's my son. You stayed in my crib. You call my son your nephew. How can you do that to me, man? Guess what? Oh. Yeah. Guess what? You shouldn't have got locked up. Be a good father to your child, boy. Tell me to be a good father? Yes. You ain't even got your daughter. Ooh. I got my, I love my little girl. You ain't got your daughter, man. I still love her. How you gonna take and care of my take son? Care of got a job. How you gonna take care of my son? I got a job. How what you, you gonna take care of my son? I got a job. You can't keep what it. What you got? He got a job. <laughs> Around. Here's uh, Aisha. Yeah. Mm. How do you do this to me, man? Jamari, look. Like, I can't do this alone. I'm tired. I cry every single night. I have to beg for you to even get your attention for five minutes. I have to beg for you to love me. Like, How do I not love you? Me. You don't. How do I not you love don't you? You don't love me at all. I you was there for you and your family was not. I was the one that was there for you. Yes, you were there I was there. But where Nobody are you else. Now? Nobody else. Out of all the times we've been together, how many times have you been locked up? How many times, Jamari? Doesn't matter. Been, it matters. That doesn't it mean matters. I don't love you. You leave me alone with a son to take care for. You act like I'm not there for my son. You're not. How am I not there? Jamari, you love him. There's so You're much more to it. There's so much more. <laughs> What's the deal here? Do you do I love him? Yeah. I have a lot of love for him. Yes, I do. We've been together for years. We have a kid together. You don't want him. But, but I mean, like, you have to look at it. I work two jobs. I'm yeah. only 19. I shouldn't have to work two jobs. Yeah. I shouldn't. Yeah. Like, he should be man enough. He should go and do that. Like, you're a man. Grow up. You're 22 years old. You say you're grown. <laughs> you tell me a man and grow up. But was any of those people that you was, was he there with you when your family didn't care about you? I didn't even know Juwan then. I, was he there? I came to you for was comfort. Any, you were there for comfort. I was comfort. never there? You were, no. You I were, was always there for you. You were there for when comfort. When we jumped house from house, who was there for you? And we wanted to went, jump house to house. I you went and went. got a job. We wanted to be You home. didn't have to pay rent. You was in foster care. They paid for everything for you. You didn't have to pay nothing. So what are you struggling for? All you did was work and you had extra money. That was it. 
So when we stayed in a hotel, when we stayed in a car for three days, we didn't have anything. I had to stay. But I stayed so with we you. Could eat. I stayed with you. I could have went to my mom's house. You I turned my back on my mom for you, you because I loved home. you because I wanted my family. Sometimes love is not enough. Go get a job. I wouldn't have to worry about all of this. So you I cheat on me? Struggle. So you cheat on me? Dewan I was gone for all 30 all days. Dewan you act like I was gone for five years. I was gone for 30 days. It took you 30 days to cheat on me? Jawan came over. Jawan. 30 days? That makes you look like a thought. Jo okay. That's what it makes you look like. Okay. It makes you look like a thought. Okay. It took you 30 days to cheat like on me. Thought. And yet you cheat on me with him? Somebody I call my brother? I call that man my brother. But you cheat on me with him, and I'm supposed to still love you? Thank you. <laughs> and you, you a snake to me now. Yeah, all right. You a snake. Never been one. You will never see my family again. You can't take my family from me. I'll be still still her. What's up? <laughs> All right. Do you want to be with him? I don't want to be with Jawan. Jawan was. Oh, you Juwan. don't want to be with him. He came over, he showed me all the comfort that Jamari didn't. Like, when I have to work 12 hours, I don't want to have to come home and have to worry about my house being dirty and have to cook for you. Like, I want to come home and relax. I don't want to deal with all of that. When Jawan was there for those weeks or whatever, I'd come home to a clean house. I'd ask Jawan if he's hungry. No, you don't have to worry about that. You've been at work all day, just relax. You want, you want something to eat, I'll do it for you. He can't you. cook. <laughs> How? What are you cooking, you noodles? Hot dogs? I can cook, he can't. Look Anything. at me. Look at him. He's a toothpick. No, he he was a good, he's a good man. It was 30 like, days. Okay, it was 30 days, but you're exactly right. We've been together for years, so why why do I have to keep telling you the same things so I need you, you to do? To why, do I why do I have to be a thought to get attention from somebody else when I shouldn't have to? I should get the attention from you. I was in jail. You, you were in jail. You can't stay out of jail long enough to even, like... Okay, and he's out of jail now. Do you two want to be together? I want to be with him, but I need him to man up. I need him to do all these things. Like, you have a son. You have a seven-month-old son. You should have... He's been in jail so many times since we've been together. Yeah. Like, and now that you're seven months old, you're, you should have never went to... Like, you should have never went to jail Why we had a kid. Me going to jail this time was... That time was not my fault at all. Oh. It is your fault. You were on probation and you couldn't stop smoking long enough. So that right means here. we didn't even matter to you. You I couldn't stop smoking long enough for your family. If you would have stopped smoking because you knew you was on probation, you wouldn't have never went to jail for those 30 days. So, you gonna stay together? I would love to be with Jamari and I would love for us to work things out, but he has to, like, I need You're attention stop too. Smoking? If it keeps me from losing my son, then yes. Yeah. 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 Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.